Chris here, and this is another product update. This is the uh, Amway uh, 200 milliwatt 15 channel video transmitter. Uh, this is actually uh, Fat Shark compatible, as well as the uh, other 5.8 gigahertz systems that are out there. Um, it basically has seven Fat Shark channels and eight of the uh, uh, what are they, RC-805, RC-305 uh, channels as well. Um, so it's a really nice compact setup. Uh, it's basically the same size as the uh, uh, immersion equipment. It uh, is definitely light and has the uh, little tiny switches in the back to be able to change everything. It does have dual connections, so if you don't want to use a 5-pin latching connector, you can use a uh, five pin, uh, these are the micro blade connectors. Um, I don't have any of the five pin, I only have a four pin. So I may start picking up a few of those because the uh, latching is much larger. Uh, but the latching is common with your uh, standard Fat Shark equipment. Um, I believe this is pinned out the exact same as Fat Shark, I'll have to double check it. But it looks like it is uh, with your five volt on the outside, ground, video, uh, audio left and audio right, and your five pin. Uh, and then you have uh, your ground and voltage in on the other one. Um, this accepts 7 to 12 volt, or uh, basically they're saying 3 cell LiPo. Uh, it does go over a little, over 12 volt a little bit. Um, and it comes with a standard uh, dipole antenna, but that's about all it's useful for down there. Unless you're using it for uh, stationary equipment. Uh, if you're going to use this on an aircraft or something, you got to go circular polarized on a 5.8. It's just something you have to do. Um, cause any 5.8 is so sensitive that if you don't go circular polarized, you're not going to have fun. It's going to be chopping out, doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, FPV style does have, uh, some 5.8 gigahertz, uh, little antennas that you can pick up, um, that are a great deal. I think they were like nine bucks for a pair of them. Uh, just make sure you get the right ones. Uh, if you do have one of these transmitters, it uses SMA, not RP SMA. Reverse polarized SMA, if you look at it, um, the antennas will have a hole in them um, where SMA is going to have a spike and the equipment has a hole. So you want to make sure if, you're, if you have this, get SMA. If you have the boss cam equipment, uh, that's what the other channels were that I was trying to think of, um, those use RP SMA. So RP SMA is common in uh, standard wireless equipment with your uh, home uh, routers and things like that. Um, but it's a lot less popular in pretty much everything else out there. So SMA is the common uh, connector that's used in all uh, 2.4, 1.3, the immersion equipment, 5.8. Uh, they all use the same setup. So I would definitely uh, watch that, especially if you're going to try and get a good deal on a uh, uh, boss cam setup or something like that is if you already have antennas make sure they match up because uh, you don't want to put the wrong ones on the wrong system because right now if you took an RPSMA antenna and screwed it on this it will connect but not in internally so you only have a ground it'll give you terrible range tell terrible quality um, won't work very well but this has a is a great little setup has your 5 volt out to power your camera, which I'm going to test uh, putting a Mobius directly on it. And uh, should be a really cool setup because you can have this and your Mobius. Real clean, simple setup. Don't have to have anything else in there. And it'll work. And it uses the filtering that's on this, which it does have some uh, pretty good filtering. Uh, you can see a uh, uh, 470 uh, coil on here and a couple capacitors and everything to uh, definitely filter this down pretty nice. Um, they did sand off the uh, chip face so you can't see what kind of pro or what kind of chip they're using. Um, but it looks like a standard uh, regular chip that I use on a lot of my equipment which I actually chose because it was the lowest noise um, chip that I could find. So they are choosing some quality equipment on here. Um, the overall build is really nice. Uh, the Switches are actually shrink tubed over, so you do have to cut the shrink tube away to switch your channel. Uh, I'm going to be setting this on Fat Shark because I have uh, some Predator goggles. Definitely need to get rid of those things and get some uh, 
attitudes, but that'll be later on down the road. So if you want to pick one of these up, you have it at fpvstyle.com. Uh, I think it was right around 35 bucks, And it comes with the uh, standard cables. So you have your uh, five pin, and you have your two pin that goes to a JST. So you can uh, use that with a standard uh, little battery. Something like this, you could throw a little 500 milliwatt battery on there and use it for quite a while. So it's a great little setup. If you have something light, like a mini quad, grab one of these, throw it on it. You'll have lots of fun. So check back soon for more products and reviews.